hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for all your support if you're new to my channel you're welcome to my channel if you're my old subscriber thank you so much for all your love all your support today i'll be making a lovely dress i'll be using this fabric for it this is african print this is for the upper part of the dress i folded it with her biggest measurement which is her bust measurement her bust is 38 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 plus one inch for seam allowance is 10.5 from this center front line 10.5 but i have 10.75 this is for the front is folded into two this is for the back it's folded into two also the back is one inch bigger than the front because of zip allowance one inch one inch this is starting line. From starting line to this line is 9 inches, half of her round armhole. Her round armhole is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. From shoulder to this line is her half length, waist line. 16 inches plus half inch seam allowance to join it to the lower part. I'm going to mark her neck width. Neck width of 3.5 inches. and neck depth of one inch for the back i'll connect it so this is back neckline her shoulder measurement is 16 16 divided by 2 is 8 plus half inch seam allowance eight and half eight and half I'll, from this shoulder line, I'll come down by one inch, shoulder slant. I'll connect this shoulder slant to the neck width. So here I'll mark half eight and half. The same measurement that I have here. Her bust measurement is 38. 38 divided by 4 is 9.5. Plus 1 inch for seam allowance, 10.5. This is 10.5. Her waist measurement is 31. 31 divided by 4 is 7.75. 7 7.75. Plus 1 inch for that and 1 inch seam allowance. 7.75. 1 inch for that. 1 inch seam allowance. 2 inches. I'll connect it. To curve the armhole, I'll get the midpoint. This is the midpoint. I'll come in by 0 0.75 to curve the front armhole. This is for back armhole. Back armhole. This is for the front armhole. This is for the back armhole. To mark the dart, I will use half of her bust pan measurement. Her bust pan measurement is 8 inches divided by 2 is 4. From this center front, I will mark 4 inches. Four inches. 
this is for the front pattern from the starting line shoulder line this is her chest line her bust point is 10 inches from your, her bust point i'll go down by one inch 11 inches four inches for front that half inch half inch I'll connect it this is for front that to mark the back that on the back pattern from shoulder line this is her chest line nine inches nine inches I'll go down by one inch which is ten inches so her chest line I'll go down by one inch to mark the back that so I will notch it I will notch the center line four inches I'm going to cut it but I'll cut the back one first I'll mark half inch same allowance to join the shoulder so I marked half inch same allowance to join the shoulder I'll cut this into two because of zip allowance. This is for the back. This is for the back. is for the front I will trim the front armhole the front armhole because it's overlap dress I will cut it from this part to this side or from this part to this side I have one inseam allowance this is one inseam allowance from that one inseam allowance I'll come in by half inch or one inch which is from here total of one and a half or two inches I will use one and a half One and a half. This is center front line. I'll mark the neckline. The back neckline is one inch. The front neckline will be six inches. I'll mark six inches. So I'll mark five inches because I have one inch already. Five inches. I'll connect it from shoulder to this neckline. Okay. So I'm going to cut it on this line. I will use this one. I will discard this one. I'll make use of this. I'll put it on top of fabric, right side together and cut another one. Or wrong side together and cut another one. Because if you don't do so, you might end up cutting the same one, the same side. This is the front part. I'm going to cut another one. I need two of this. So this is the right side of the fabric. I'll put it this way. 
right side together. You put it right side together or wrong side together so that you get it right. So I will cut it. This is for the front. You will notch the dart, the center line. So this is what I have. She doesn't want lining. If you want lining, you will use it to cut out your lining. Also the back one, you will use it to cut out your lining. But if you want to cut lining for the lower part, you will cut just half circle for the lining. To cut the lower part of the dress, I will subtract the upper part of the dress from the full length of the dress. I will minus the upper part of the dress from the full length of the dress. The full length of the dress is 39 inches. The upper part is 16 inches. From shoulder to waistline is 16 inches. 39 minus 16 is 23 inches. 23 inches, I need some allowance to hem it at the lower part and also some allowance to join it to the upper part. I will use one inch, but you can use one and a half inches. I will use half inch to join it to the upper part and half inch to hem it at the lower part. One inch, but you can use half inch to join it to the upper part and one inch to hem it at the lower part. One and a half inches, but I will use one inch. So 23 plus one is 24 inches. So the length of the lower part that I'm going to cut will be 24 inches Because the circle dress I'll get the radius to get the radius. I'll work with her waist measurement Her waist measurement is 31 because I want to cut full circle the method that I want to use I will divide the waist measurement into 2 31 divided by 2 is 15.5 15.5 but I will need seam allowance size seam allowance so one inch size seam allowance on each side, which is two inches, one inch, one inch, two inches. Two plus 15.5 is 17.5. I'm going to cut half circle. Formula for half circle is 3.14. So I'll use 3.14 to divide 17.5. 17.5 is half of her waist measurement plus two inches seam allowance. 17.5 divided by 3.14 is 5.5. So to fold the fabric, I will add 5.5, the waist radius, plus the length of the lower part. The length of the lower part is 24 inches, plus 5.5 is 29.5. 29.5, I will measure 29.5 on this side. I'll fold it into two. 29.5, 29.5. On this side, I will measure 29.5. But I have more than 29.5 because the fabric is by 45. On this side, I have about 31 inches. But what I want is 29.5. So now I'm going to mark the waist radius. This is the folded part. So now I will mark the waist radius, which is 5.5. 5.5 I'll connect it from 5.5 I'll mark the length of the lower part which is 24 inches 24 inches so I'll mark it this is 5.5 the waist radius from this 5.5 I marked 24 inches the length of the lower part so after marking 24 inches I checked what I have from here, 29 and half. So I marked 29 and half. So this is 24 inches for the lower part. I'll cut this off. I'll cut it out. I'll now fold another fabric and put it on top to cut the second one, the back one. To cut the back one, what I need on this side, what I need on this side is 29.5, but the back one will be longer. The back one will be at least 30.5 because I need one inch deep allowance at the back. 30.5, 30.5 instead of 29.5. This is for the front. 
is half circle. So I'll fold another fabric and put this on top to cut out the back one. I'll put this front pattern on top to cut out the back. This is 30.5 folded into two 30.5 30.5 this is for the front the same length and on this side this is the zip allowance so i'm going to use this to trim this and trim the lower parts this is for the front i'll cut the back into two This is for the front and this is for the back. So what I'll do next is to sew the darts. I'll sew the darts. I'll do the same on this side. I'll also this is for the back. This is notch for the dart. For the shoulder line, you will mark out for the shoulder line. I will mark 10 inches. Her chest line is 9 inches. I'll go down by 1 inch, which is 10 inches. I will now mark half inch, half inch. I'll hold it this way. Half inch and stitch the dart. I'll do the same on this. This is for the back. I've sewn the dart. I also press it. I cut out facing for the back. Just put fabric under and cut out the facing. I have lightweight interfacing on it. I overlocked it. This is for the back. You put it right side together. You can do this before you sew the dart or after you sew the dart or before you fix your zip. You come in by half inch, you mark half inch and slant it to this line. So you trim this off and measure another zip allowance, one inch zip allowance. What I'll do next is to stitch the upper part to the lower part. This is one side of the lower part of the dress. Right side, right side. Zip allowance is on this side. I'll put it this way. Right side together. I'll stitch it together using half inch seam allowance. I'll do the same on this side. This is for the front. I've stitched the darts. I also press it. I cut out this on bias. I use it to tidy up this side. To cut on bias, you fold your fabric this way. Then you will cut. I cut at 1.25. So what I'll do next is to put these two together. This center front line, you will notch it. Center front. The center front line, you will notch it. You put your fabric this way. So you will notch the center front line. You will notch the center front line also on this one. So you put the notch together. Then I will stitch this together. 
After that, I will now stitch the lower part of the dress to the upper part of the dress. This is the right side. This is the right side of the lower part. I will put it this way, right side together and stitch it together at the waistline using half inch seam allowance. This is for the front. I've stitched the upper part and lower part together at the waistline. I also overlock it. This is for the back. I've stitched the upper part and lower part together at the waistline. I did the same on this. I want to stitch these two together right side together from top I'll measure where the zip will stop the zip will stop here so from this point I'll stitch these two together using one in similar ones to the end I'll also fix the zip I've stitched the back together I fix the zip I also stitch the facing to the neckline I put it this way right side together I stitch it using half inch seam allowance. I notched and top stitch on the facing side. What I'll do next is to stitch it on this side. After that, it will be like this. So I've stitched it. I'll turn it to the right side. I'll give it a good press. What I'll do next is to stitch the front and the back together at the shoulder line. This is the back. This is the front. I'll stitch it together using half inch seam allowance. I'll open it this way. I'll put it. I'll use this facing to cover it. I'll stitch it using half inch seam allowance. I'll do the same on this side. If you want, you will use facing for both back neckline and front neckline. Or you can use bias for both front and back neckline. I've stitched it. I also did the same on this side. What I'll do next is to stitch the two sides. Using one in seam allowance to the end, I'll do the same on this side. Or you will measure your bust measurement, your waist measurement. Her waist measurement is 31. 31 divided by 2 is 15.5, 15 and a half. So I have 17 and a half. 17 and a half minus 15 and half two inches remaining the remaining two inches i'll mark one inch on this side and one inch on this side it's still the same i will stitch it using one inch allowance to the end this is the dress i'll give it a good press what i'll do next is to fix the sleeve you can fix sleeve of your choice circle sleeve basic sleeve Floater sleeve, any sleeve of your choice. 
I have umbrella sleeve here, circle sleeve. This is the right side. This is the upper part. This part will be on the shoulder. I'll pin it. I'll turn it this way. Right side together. I'll pin it. I'll stitch it using half inch seam allowance. After that, I will hem the lower part. If you have one inch seam allowance, you fold half inch in, another half inch, and stitch on it. But I have half inch seam allowance. I will overlock it first. After that, I will now fold like quarter of an inch in or half inch and stitch on it. I will give it a good press. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.